And Robert is preaching today. But for our verse of the week or thought of the week, whatever you want to call it, let's go to Titus. And uh, I was thinking about this. So I was reading it. I was in it. Yes, last week, yesterday, last week I uh, was teaching on the righteous, on righteousness of God and godliness and stuff like that. And I'm like, why didn't I think of these verses? Why didn't I go here? You know, these are some good verses too. So I just want to kind of capture those. Um, in Titus chapter 2, and I won't read all through verse uh, chapter 2, Paul has given instructions to, you know, uh, different categories of people and uh, but it, if you'll start in verse 8 in uh, Titus chapter 2 verse 8 Paul writing he says sound speech that cannot be condemned that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed uh, I kind of got ahead of myself he that is a contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing to say of you verse 9 exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them with all in well in all things, not answering again, not purloining. That word purloining is kind of a weird word. It, that purloining means to steal. All right, not purloining, uh, but showing all good fidelity. And fidelity means loyalty. You know, so he's saying uh, not 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 steal. He's talking about servants in this particular verse, and he says uh, that they shouldn't be stealing and that they should be loyal. And that they may adorn, or I should say that, they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. And I think of that word adorn. When you adorn something, you wear it, right? It's something that somebody can see. So he's saying that you adorn the doctrine of God. People should be able to see it on you. You know, see that something is different. Uh, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. And that word, word godly, I, that's kind of like last week, we we're going over what the word godliness means. He says, godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow, I mean, that is something to really be excited about looking forward to, isn't it? Looking forward to God and, and, and our Savior Jesus Christ to appear and to, uh, I mean, take us out of here is one thing. But, I mean, what, a, what, an, what an exciting thing to be looking forward to. Verse 14, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority let no man despise thee so anyways i just thought that was a, I just thought that was a um a cool verse to look at i'm seeing your note here <laughs> i forgot something in announcements <laughs> Kind of, kind of disconnected, but anyway. <laughs> I'm bad about forgetting things. Huh? I'm bad about, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on this here. I, I should wrap it up and say, uh, anyway, what a cool verse to look at. Let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, um, um, we thank you for the, the grace that you have given us. Lord, the, um, the words that we can come to and understand and know how you're working today and, and coming to know um, just what your plan is. Lord, we thank you for uh, including us. We read, the, we read the entire Bible and understand that the nation of Israel was a major part of the Old Testament. And uh, we just thank you that you have made a plan for us today in understanding uh, the grace that was given and, and made known to the Apostle Paul. It's in his name, it's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. <laughs> 